My name is David. And my name is Michael. And this is Murderous Ghosts. When we last saw Victor Black, he was looking at an overturned wheelchair, and he had hunkered down and gotten near to it, and he saw upon the wheel a pale hand with dirt under its nails that is missing a pinky finger. Victor, what do you do? Well, this has become all too real. This is no longer merely a hallucination or whatever other justification I might come up with for things seen in the dark. Uh, this is this is real. Um, I place a hand over my mouth to stifle a scream um, as I observe what this person is, what they're doing. Yes, and as your eyes kind of travel up its arm, its very pale arm, you'll see a sleeve of what looks like a hospital gown, and then... You look at its face, and its eyes are just darting, oscillating back and forth. Uh, and it doesn't seem to notice you. But its mouth is wide, and it's full of a black, moist something that is all over its face and down its chin. Is this person a squatter or something? And even if, how could they be living down here in a place like this? And God, what could they be subsiding on? The figure starts to move its hand along the wheel as if to get it spinning and it, it starts to sound like it's moving faster and faster. That squeaking starts to even out. But you look at the wheel, and it's still not moving. You can s- clearly see the spokes, that they are stationary. And then it raises its other hand, and its other hand is all broken fingers. Every single finger on it is broken in multiple places. And it just jams it down into the stationary wheel that sounds like it's spinning. And you hear a sickening crunch, and the sound of it moving stops. Oh, maybe, maybe this isn't real. How could this be real? But I'm seeing it with my own eyes. What do you most hope it doesn't do? Choose from look at me. Reach out to me, speak, or stop still. Well, this thing, it's, it's not, it's moving, it it's, it's, seems like it might be alive or something, but at least it's not looking directly at me. Its eyes are darting around the room. I don't know if it really knows or understands that I'm here, so... If at least it doesn't look at me, maybe I can sneak past it or something. Mm -hmm. I drew a 10, which means it does one of the others. I have to choose which. Oh, well, I guess if I have to choose, I'll hear it speak. It will speak. It, its mouth is open. And you can see that blackness in it kind of churning a bit. And then you hear it speaking. Oh, I feel the bile rise up in my throat. This creature speaks as if it's about to retch and 
just hearing that sound and combined with this horrible visage, I, oh, I, it's hard to keep it down. But I have to, I have to stay quiet. It coughs something out of its mouth down in front of it. And you see what looks like chunks of meat. You can smell them from this distance. And it picks them up. And it starts to approach you with them. It holding it in its, in its good hand, the hand that is not as damaged as the other. It starts to offer them to you, though its eyes continue to dart about the room. It's p- putting them closer to your mouth. Tell the MC something you wanted the chance to do before you died. I know this sounds silly, but I always dreamed of adopting a dog from the pound. Something about those poor animals surrounded by numerous other dogs, cats, barking cacophony surrounded by so many others and yet still crushed by loneliness it was something that reminded me a lot of my childhood and growing up as the youngest in a large family I thought that I might find a kindred spirit there but I've sort of been living on the edge lately you know sewering and doing other independent activities. I didn't really think I settled down enough to really care for a dog. Now, it asks me what I most hope I don't do now. My choices are scream, break and run, beg, or lash out. Right now, I've had my hand covering over my mouth as this thing is sticking this putrid chunks of meat towards me and holding back vomit in my mouth. And if I scream right now, it's about to get a lot worse. Now I have to draw. That's a bust. So, you are going to have to scream. Hi, this is Jason from The Gauntlet. If you enjoyed this episode of Comic Strip AP, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. We have many other Comic Strip AP shows available, each organized in their own sequential playlist for easy listening. Just go to youtube.com and search for Gauntlet RPG.